Hello and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101. My name is Christopher Wright. Alongside of me is Christopher Glue. Together we are the Glue and Blue Show. Today we have an amazing show for you. Glue, let them know what's going down. All right. Thank you for joining us on Cannabis Talk 101. We've got some great guests. We've got Peter Rojas with us today. JP Kelly Smooth is here and Remy Guapo. <laughs> So we also got the Cartoon Cowboys with us today. Blue, why don't you have them bring them in? Cartoon Cowboys make some noise. Just a little bit. Just a little bit or two. Just a little bit. Just a little bit with you Just a little bit of sugar When you're pouring my java No, I don't want no cream And I like it hot like lava Just a little bit of pepper When you scramble my eggs Sometimes just a little bit Goes along the way, yeah Just a little bit, just a little bit with you. Just a little bit of sugar when you're pouring my java. No, I don't want no cream, and I like it hot like lava. Just a little bit of pepper when you scramble my eggs. Sometimes just a little bit. Goes it on the way, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit or two, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit or two. Cartoon Cowboy. Yeah. Amazing job, guys. Boys? <laughs> All right. Why don't we start off with our Cannabis Business Day moment brought to you by CBD Living Water. We're going to start off with our neighbors to the east over there in the great state of Colorado. Colorado. All is not well in Colorado, my friend. Uh-oh. Colorado anti-marijuana ballot campaign is now underway. Advocates who want to scale back Colorado's marijuana industry have received the green light to begin gathering signatures to put the issue before the voters in the fall. The Colorado Supreme Court gave the go-ahead Thursday to supporters who want to put an initiative on the November ballot that it would impose potency caps and packaging restrictions on a variety of marijuana products. Wow. This is the proposed measure. It would ban all marijuana products with THC potency of more more than 16 percent uh -oh. which would make products such as vape pens and most edibles illegal <laughs> everybody's yeah. wiped out boom <laughs> <It would. laughs> yeah. if you have anything quality you're done <laughs> it would also effectively regulate concentrate makers and make many edible manufacturers put many med edible manufacturers out of business wow the proposed law would apply to both medical and recreational cannabis products if voters approve the measure which most in the industry consider to be unlikely 
it would make 80% of all cannabis products on the market in Colorado illegal. Wow. <laughs> who, who, who came up with that again? The uh, supporters of the uh, initiative are actually a group that has been backed by a uh, anti-marijuana campaign in Colorado, okay. and they were supposed to be the more reasonable voice. They were the ones that say, hey, let's put caps on it and limitations instead of just banning it. So they were the ones that got the traction together, the signatures. The wow. haters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, Colorado, all is not well. well Tell us what's going on in uh, Arizona. Bro. Well, in Arizona, the, the Department of Health, which is the D, uh, ADHS, will accept dispensaries registration certificates uh, in July 2000, I mean, 2016. So what that means essentially is people in Arizona, you can apply for another license. So they had a... a, a a license drawing that was lottery. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be based on lottery and merit based. It's a little bit different. So I like the merit based system. Yeah. I do too. I do too. And I, I think it's a uh, it's a lot smarter of a route than just picking a ball and saying you win. You know? It'll get smart people like <laughs> Remy and uh, Peter into the mix. Oh yeah. Did Nevada uh, yeah. do that? The lottery system. Nevada had a lottery. Yeah, yes. and so did Santa Ana and a lot of other places. Well, this is a combination of a, of a lottery and merit. So based on population, what they're doing is in the state of Arizona, it's it's based on population. So if uh, Phoenix, Arizona has the most people in it, and they're calling it Chaws, which is uh, the Cha, um, you can they'll, they'll they're going to open up thirty one new new licenses okay so that's something to look out for if wow. you're from arizona or if you're even from california and you just want to go and attack that opportunity's opportunity knocking opportunity is knocking people so <laughs> everybody's headed to arizona right after the show. <laughs> where are the antitrust <laughs> laws all, yeah right so don't tell everybody <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you, I hate to be the harbinger of doom here today, but all is not well in California either. Uh, uh, no, no, not no. at all. It's a right. new show. So medical marijuana oil producers were just recently raided here in California. Local law enforcement agents raided five properties in Sonoma County connected to a pair of well-known medical marijuana oil producing companies, indicating the industry continues to face legal risk even while the state is crafting rules for that specific type of medical marijuana business. The two brands, Absolute Extracts and Care by Design, had to halt their production after the county police seized their equipment and inventory, the Santa Rosa Press Democrat reported recently. But authorities said the head of the company was using illegal hazardous production methods and was breaking a number of city ordinances, according to the paper. Wow. A spokesman for the company denied they were using any chemicals uh, prohibited by law and insisted the duo are a legal business. They're currently being held on $5 million bail. <laughs> wow. oh, so how much does that mean they have to come up with to get out? Well, it depends 000? on the bail bondsman you find. <laughs> but, uh, you I know, know a good one. Uh, yeah, they're, 5%. They're, yeah, so so did it get real. released and then now they're doing the bail? Because... Um, I know that they released a couple of the people that got hit on that raid, and they were at high times. Yeah, I think that the owner is actually the one that's facing the $5 million bail, and if he posted his bail, then good for him. Oh, no, I don't think the bail was posted. I think, actually, they released them and didn't give them any paperwork and hmm. dropped all Oh, charges. so it was a jack move. Yes. Yeah. I think that's from my understanding from yeah, what I've been reading. Yeah, I've heard of those. That's what I heard also. Interesting. Right. Well, apparently there's more to the story. We'll have to check up on that next week. Yeah. How right. credible is your, uh, you know, your insight? Well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a chain of unfortunate <laughs> events since then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, there's Davenport, no. Wugu, and Moon yeah. Rocks. Were Free also Davenport. Oh, okay. Free Camo. What about what about them? What, what happened? Uh, Davenport Extracts got hit as soon as they get, they won at high times, and as soon as they got home at like three in the morning, they were busted. Uh, at multiple locations and uh, multiple people. So they've been watching. The police have been taking photos of them at high times and followed wow. them home. Apparently, Livermore Police Department actually followed them home. So wow. they win the wow. Cannabis Cup, and the reward is to get arrested. Correct. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your trophy. Here's your trophy. The implication was that they were involved in, <laughs> Good job. in something else. Oh, okay. Jeez. Well, there you go. It's a well, cold world wear jacket. And then, <laughs> and then Wu Tang Clan sponsored a uh, hash manufacturer, the Wu Goo. Mm -hmm. uh, they also had some trouble, and then Mo Corrupt's Moon Rocks got raided as well yesterday. So, what wow. you're really wow. telling us is it's really bad in California. If you like dabs, <laughs> the price is going up. Wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. Well, it's speaking of that, we got a grow question again, Blue. And uh, this week, one of the people actually sent in an email and asked what a good medium would be to use for a small grow. Do you have any advice you could give them? Uh, you 
know, for a starter, um, you know, and this isn't by no means, uh, uh, you know, a serious, uh, you know, technical, you're going to have to fill your own, you know, imagination and learn by, by talking to different people. But, you know, just something simple. You could do, you know, if you have no common sense or no sense in this space, just go get some miracle Grow, uh, back guano, <laughs> some back guano, some organic seafood fertilizer, um, you know, maybe 10% of that, 10% of perlite. Uh, you can put together something real small, a little 5% of sand, 5% of organic mix, and uh, it'll work very well for you. If you're just doing something real simple, I mean, if you want to get into, you know, technical, uh, real good stews and homemade, you know, you're going to have to kind of experiment yourself. <laughs> Oh, a work in progress, so to speak, right? Right, right, right. All I right. mean, this is just something that you could just go buy over the counter. I mean, you know. All right. And, uh, Tony, you know, we have our uh, super clinic moment. We haven't, yeah. uh, we missed you last week. And, yeah, I was uh, up in the oh, okay. Getting there you some go. fish for my soil amendment. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nitrogen, a little nitrogen boost. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, our sponsor, sense. Super Clinic, that's located at South Birch Street, 2525 South Birch Street on June 29th, which is Wednesday, is giving 5% of their total to uh, the Santa Ana Food Bank, which is Second Harvest Food Bank. Wow. So whoever goes in there, their total for the whole day goes straight to uh, charity. Super clean. Yeah. Yeah. Super clean. Yeah. Awesome. Sponsor. Gotta love that. And they also carry CBD Living Water and Speakeasy. I hear they're going to be products. at Chellis too, huh? Yes, they will. Yeah. These pens yeah. are awesome. Yeah. Chellis, though, that's they were. That's yeah. delicious. Pen, huh? It's my favorite pen. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. They're Let's really see. high quality. You see this one that I, I got? It's awesome. There you like go. Case. <laughs> what the heck? So let's not forget to tell everybody that Super Clinic actually is one of the legal licensed dispensaries as these guys play with their speakeasy toys over there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We work at the top. <laughs> work yeah. it. It's really cool. Yeah. Everybody's got one, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I guess I better find mine. Yeah. There you oh, go. They, when are they going to make the uh, the speakeasy CBD one? And I could smoke. You know? I think that's what we both need. I think they already have it. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was puffing on I think it was earlier. fractional, yeah. but they told me they had fractional uh, CBD earlier. For my, nice. Kidding. We'll have to go over to Super Clinic and check it out. That's right. Yes. yes. 2525 South Bird Street in the city of Santa Ana, and they are a 100% legal clinic. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. All right, yeah. my friend. Well, thank you for coming in today, Tony. We're going to bring in JP Cali Smooth. He's going to come in next Jeez. and replace you. I mean, oh, I don't right. know if anybody can really, truly no. replace you. Replace him. But for a minute, anyway. So. That's right. <laughs> the huff and buff. Just keep working there. Yeah. Huff and buff. Buff and buff. <laughs> there you go. Right? Where's that? Where was that? At? That's up in San Francisco. San Francisco Ricky Williams. Right? Yep. Yeah. He's yeah. got the gym. He's yeah. going to be opening up for people to ingest their cannabis while they train. That's nice. Oh, yeah. And drink their and CBD and living water. CBD and living water at what? Moon Rocks in the break room? Or <laughs> huh? Not anymore. Not anymore, <laughs> right? What do you need? They're on the dangerous list. They just got busted, dude. That's right. Why don't you take us into the break, Blue? Well, there it is, guys. Cannabis Talk 101. My name is Blue. Alongside of me is Blue, and we'll be right back. Hello, and welcome back to Cannabis Talk 101 with Glue and Blue. Glue, let us know who's coming up next. We've got J.P. Kelly Smooth performing his new song on his upcoming album, Jackie Robinson. This is Already Hit It by J.P. Kelly Smooth, produced by Ear Drummers. Go ahead and give it to us, Mr. Smooth. Yeah, let that ride, DJ. Better check okay, I go by the name of J.P. Kelly Smooth, right? Bye. 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 Uh, I met her once and she's saying I'm the man Stepping from the beach, ten toes, no sandals Trapping with the pennies, the teeth fitted but pants low Trying to make a living with a trap queen in a band though Fly then I sit then I hit to the kitchen I whip and I whip, I got bricks to be flipping I press the whole line then I piss to the dealer Get my quarter back then I hey, Say I'm a certified G My mama raised me with manners My daddy passed was an addict That's probably what turned me savage The hammers that I be gripping Got clips that sit like bananas Established rapper with clash And man, it's sad that he average Look, and when it's out They gon' all buy n I'm famous like you ain't just finna walk by n I don't beat The heater going chalk line Cali baby, tell your baby Don't get caught by n I'm already hit it Ay, ay, tell your n If he want it, he can get it Ay, cause I don't want it that's a resource on the beat. Turn it up, look. Real LA talk. Uh, say, say. I don't want it. Uh, uh. Fly sitting in the pants. Fly.
Switching up ends, leaning with a tent. Tell your girl to get in with her friends. I ain't been where I been, you just ain't seen it Demeanor is probably reason I made it, you hate it She told you she wanna be with a gangster Something about a boss, got an obvious on the saw Spotted us by the bar, even followed us to the car Told me to keep a secret, she needed to hit it I slid in back of the whip, she admitted she been committed Told her I'm with the business, then showed her I wasn't tripping I know that I'm probably different, got soda all in my kitchen Humble but with the business, do numbers like I'm with physics Humble but hard to get it, hit thunder, I'm probably in it I grew up in the jungle, rumbles and hopping fences A baby need a thug want trouble, then come and get it. I'ma hit it. Say, say, hey, hey, tell your if he want it, he can get it. Sing it with me, look. Hey, I don't want it if I already hit it. I see y'all in the back, Bobby. Tell your if he want it, he can get it. It's real West. Two step, tell it slide like that. Look, throw your dub up, I hold mine like that. Two step, two step, tell it slide like this. Throw your dub up, I hold mine like that. Two step, two step. Slide like this, throw your dub up, I hold mine like this, ayy, ayy, I hold mine like this, ayy, 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 You know, it's something for y'all to turn up to. Shout out to all my weed smokers in the house. I go by the name of Kelly B. Kelly Smooth, man. Good job, family. Good job. Nice. We might have to link up, buddy. That was heaven. <laughs> yeah. JP Kelly Smooth in the house. Yeah. Thanks for that. That he's, was he's awesome. He's part of the village. Oh, he's part oh, of the so village. He's not in the house. He's in the village. He's our partner on the Black Sheep Club in Hollywood. Yes, sir. So tell us about the Black Sheep Club. What is that? Uh, the Black Sheep Club, man, it's a, uh, it's a company and a movement I started early uh, li- last year. You know, I started uh, putting the ideas together for it. This year it came into effect. We got a residency at State Social House every other Friday. Popping, we having hip hop shows, alternative rock shows, spoken word, all different types of music. And it's free. It's a free show. You know, it's free entry. Come in, come kick it. You feel me? On Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, I'm hosting every other Friday. We always love free, man. We, oh, yeah. that. we have to get to invite yeah. us out. We're going down. Oh, and it's smoke friendly. Come nice. bring your weed. 215 too. friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 215. Uh. We're working go. on getting vending involved, but uh, it's not Excellent. Yeah. So, so how does one find out about this? Is it online? <clears throat> it posted? Yeah, uh, follow me on, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or online. And then I got my Black Sheep Club Instagram. It's Black Sheep Club CO. You know, everything's spelled correctly. Well, of course. <laughs> so and can, what's your Instagram tag so we know? It's uh, Cali Boy Smooth with a V at the end. Oh, perfect. Nice. Yeah. So, Cali, tell us how uh, you ended up getting into the music industry. Um, uh, I got in, in, like, involved in music really early. Um, I have a pretty different uh, hand than a lot of other artists. Um my first tour I went on, I was like 11, you know, first deal, I was like 13, 12. And um, my whole life have been, has been like based around music since then, you know. And uh, it's always been more music, more shows, more songs, and the next move since then. Of course, I veered off and got sidetracked growing up just being a kid and just growing up and living life, you know. But overall, it's been music since day one, you feel me? <clears throat> That's great. Well, so, you, hey, you, let me ask you a question. You know, you talked about growing up and having a, a hard life. You know, it sounds like you really have a, a real portrait of that. Growing up in L.A., then yeah. taking off to Chicago, one yeah. of the next toughest cities around, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then coming back to L.A. You yeah. just can't get enough of the tough Man. life, huh? Man, it, it, yeah, that sounds crazy, huh? You ain't lying. <laughs> You're a real <laughs> West Coast, East Coast gangster, man. No, man, Midwest, Midwest. Uh, Go ahead, I didn't mean to interrupt. You, <laughs> no, 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 man. Go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, you've also done some acting, right? Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, acting has been like a venture since I was younger. At first, it started off like uh, the people that was managing me when I was a little kid wanted a, a quick return on investment so started doing auditions then I ended up actually liking it man doing it on my own time but acting has been fun you feel me um 
it's great. I like uh, it. It kind of goes escaping. hand in hand, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? The yeah. acting, the rapping, the entertainment. You know, I, I did some some entertainment myself. <clears throat> and I did some rapping back in the day. And, uh, you know, I, I did, actually did some great tours. and had Oh, some, word. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I've been on some pretty big tours. And, and um, you know, in fact, shout out to, you know, Steve LaBelle. We work in, you know, Big U, Big Whack. What's up, boys? Okay. Um, those are my <laughs> folks right there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like... Uh, it's an interesting industry, right? It, yeah. moves, it moves quickly. So you jump on tours, you end up, you know, being on the road and, and living a certain lifestyle. So, you know, it, it's it's good to see that you're out doing this right now. And, and, and thank you for coming out, too. We appreciate it. No, I it, appreciate it's, it's y'all awesome, having the kid, you know? man. Yeah, it's dope. And, and, and what was the name of that joint? That's called Already Hit It. It ain't out yet. It's coming out, like, yeah. I think, so, 4th of July weekend. Yeah, is that a debut? That Yeah, actually, it is. That is. That was it. Look. Right there. Yeah. He'll, he'll be playing it live for the second time, July 2nd at the Oaktown Classic. Yeah. Nice. At Alina yeah. in West Oakland. Okay, yeah. that, oh, in Oakland, yeah. okay. So, yeah, 5 o'clock doors open, okay. 6 a.m. We have a secret sesh from yeah. 8 to 10. We have a hip hop show that Callie's headlining. Yes, sir. And uh, then after that, we have an EDM party till 4. You know, in the we, we have a lot of listeners out there, and we keep using this term secret sesh. Why don't you tell our listeners it's what like that is? It's like a farmer's market where yeah. we allow 250. Well, it's a little more than just a farmer's <laughs> market, isn't it? So no. There's cool stuff there. Come well, on. I mean, at our event, we're not blocking like a food vendor or oh, a okay. clothing All vendor right. or something like that. It's just open to 215 vendors. So okay. There will be some there. There'll be other kinds of stuff too. And, you know, painters and other kinds of things like that too. It's right. a, Oaktown Classic is a multicultural event. It's meant to represent the local culture of Oakland in the Bay Area as Excellent. opposed to just like cannabis. Oh, we good. have yeah. a cannabis section, like in the way that you'd have like a, a beer <clears throat> garden at an event. Right. But we're not trying to uh, make it a weed event, and we're excluding alcohol, uh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. So we can't get drunk? <laughs> uh, no. We're, I, we've, I've been throwing events for like 20 years, and I, I can't count the amount of like DUIs and deaths and yeah. fights and other kinds of things I don't even want to yeah. say on the air yeah. that, uh, yeah, that happen as a direct result of alcohol, which is a bad yeah. drug, man. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel yeah. that. I feel that. Yeah. Drink yeah. responsibly. Yeah, get high. Smoke yeah. responsibly yeah. too. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. Smoke. Oh, I'm not, <laughs> not in my event. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, where can we find you? Are you going to be out uh, acting anytime soon, or um, acting? Um, I might get back. I'm gonna get back into that for sure. A little late. Like I've work, been working on an album. Um, I was working with DJ Quick on a lot of the Rose Crans project. Quick. Shout out Quick man. Uh, shout out Wiz Khalifa. Problem. I did a song with Wiz Khalifa Problem and DJ Quick on uh, the Rosecrans project and uh, a couple other songs on there, a song on my project called Royal Rumble and we've been tied up in that for like six months, you feel me, and it's been hard grind, studio work, doing little shows, big shows, just getting out there, doing as many appearances and everything as possible to push the music and push what we got going on, so um, I've been really... Focused on the craft, really, right now and then. I'm gonna get back into the acting real soon. So, what, yeah, you know, yeah. what other what other studios have you been recording out of? I mean, just just uh, you know, <clears throat> mainly like you know, in house ones, or you been working on um, some of the? No, nah, I've been working at some of the spots. Yeah, just some of the spots. Uh, I was working at. I recorded my project, Jackie Robinson, out the, out of the mix room okay. in Burbank. Yeah, beautiful um, spot. Yeah, I recorded at Next Level recently. A couple projects on there. Track D spot. In uh, West you were, LA, you were saying something about the producers that produced that joint because I love that track. That was a great yeah. track. So who was who were those producers again? Uh, it's a, a producer named Resource. He's from the Ear Drummers. Okay. Yeah, he did a lot of the joints y'all hearing on the radio right now. That was nice. You know, some I of liked your it. Uh, favorite rappers. Favorite rappers, EPs. rappers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I rock with Resource. He's super dope. He's That's super dope. Man. Right well, on. thanks for joining us. We don't take off yet. We've got okay. uh, Peter Rojas coming up. He is the owner and manager of Doc Tasty's THC and CBD product line. He also owns Lost Village Video LV2 and Lost Village <coughs> Entertainment LVE. Welcome mm. to the show, Peter. Yeah, hey, how's it going? What's up, Good, Peter? Man. So you actually work directly with J.P. Kelly Smooth, correct? Yeah, recently. Uh, J.P. and I have known each other for a while. He's known my partner, uh, Zach Biesenborn for longer and uh, he came to us for some auxiliary management services and so we've been talking about that and uh, you know talking about stepping in and helping him with his events um, the Black Sheep Club and then him coming into Oaktown Classic and that's where we reached out to Remy Remy's a big uh, cannabis figure and he, he does all the the booking for uh, our event 
as right. well as his own. Well, so well tell us what you're... Not the musical booking. I do the musical booking with, with Zach, and then Remy takes care of our uh, 215 section. Well, tell us who, what, what your company is and what it does and how you So Lost, Lost Village it. Entertainment is a business strategy contract facilitation firm. We mostly work in, in hip-hop. Put that in English. Yeah. <laughs> we do, like, branding and stuff. Like, you need a, a to get a bus, and you need it graphic-wrapped and paid for, and you need gasoline to go in it. I'm the guy that gets companies to pay for that and gets a discount on the graphic wrap so we make extra money to put in all of our pockets and that kind of <laughs> we thing. We need a bus. Or like if you, if you need to be on a <laughs> product around. or like you're JP Cali Smooth and you want to have like your own CBD Terp Jelly or something like that, you'd come to me. So okay. similar to the production here, essentially, you guys. Right, but then like for other companies and stuff like that, I'll make formulations and make sure that it's accurate, get them lab testing so they're on point with their COAs and when they if they get batch tested or something like that they're confident that you know like yeah go ahead and grab it off the shelf test it we're you're going to hit the point that you want I'm the kind of guy that can give companies confidence like that yeah like so that's outside of uh, the music industry but that's kind of like where they tie together What's I the studied way? economics and psychology uh, for a while and and so it kind of lends itself to it sure yeah. well, what's the website that we can find you at? uh you can find us on lastvillageentertainment.com and uh the high notes collection.com well tell us a little bit more about this uh, lost village entertainment the lve it says <clears throat> business strategy and contract facilitation so is there really anything you don't do i mean you're out there testing products for people you're We're, doing bus wraps i'm not testing products for money. people I, if you, if you, like say you have a company or something like that and you're mm -hmm. like man i'd really like a e-cig formulation you're like i'd like some brownies or like capsules or you know, I really need a product that's new and doing something that nobody else is doing on the market. I'm going to sit with you and we're going to go through a creative process into figuring out what demographics are you trying to hit? Um, what's the point? I'm going to do some data analytics and give you some data visualization so that the client's more able to understand what they're looking at. And then we can target in more on what sort of products are going to work for what they're trying to do in their business. Uh, where do they want to market? What kind of distributors do we want to reach out to? Uh, who do we want to reach out to for industrial process? Uh, is it a CBD product? Because then we can go to regular pill manufacturers or something like that. If it's THC, then you have to have it uh, within regulations and localized, and it can't really franchise out. You know what I mean? So there's, there's a lot of different considerations depending on the client. And, and I'm only recently branching into cannabis. Okay. Uh, you know, so, Smart so normally move. it's like Smart move. toys or, <laughs> or like crappy liquor sponsors that I'm trying to get away from or, or stuff like that, that that we're dealing with. And, and my, my partner, Zach, has worked with some of the guys in Smack URL, like Tay Rock and stuff, for, for a long time. And Smack, big ups to Smack URL. <laughs> that's my boy. Yeah. And what's up, Beasley? Shout out LA Battleground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, it'll be after the time then that this plays, but shout out to Royce59 and my boy, Kid Vicious, DJ Los. Those are my people. They're blurred, all playing. Everyone, but, is but Royce is playing... Uh, <laughs> the Oaktown Classic, but Royce is playing tonight. We're taking some of your people with us. Oh, great. Nice, great. nice. So yeah, tell us about these multi multicultural music events that you host. Right, so, I mean, we're marketing to different demographics, and we're trying to, instead of, like, throwing a cannabis event where it's built around cannabis, and you're like, yay, we've got weed, so you should come. <laughs> Plus music, I'm, like, throwing, because I throw music events, man. It's not, I'm the guy that, like, I've done booking for High Times. I've done booking for Hemcon. Uh, I'm talking to Dougie about doing booking for Chalice. Oh, awesome. Tell, tell you, our Dougie. listeners what Chalice is. Chalice is a, a big event that you all should go to. It's coming up. I uh, forget the dates offhand. It's um, July 8th through 10th, I believe. Yeah, July 8th, 10th. There's three dates, right? Right. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome event. It's like kind of like the Coachella of weed. It's got the, the most... The widest array of kinds of bands and like and big performers. Like if you really like music and cannabis, Chalice like currently is probably the best event to be at. It's for like the connoisseurs, everybody that's really into the scene that knows who's who, the glass blowers, the growers, the He owns Hitman glass. Yeah. Also right. Dougie does. Yeah, Dougie yeah. does. Yeah. And so and Dougie doesn't just do his glass, he brings Rhino. I mean he brings mm -hmm. all these big end blowers that do live glass blowings. So it's a super sweet. awesome place to get merch. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. You can get it's a real blues. lifestyle, real vibe. You can go get some good music, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, that's only the case until Lost Village takes over and creates the next greatest event. Well, so I, I wouldn't be predatory with him. I would, I would do booking and try and uh, work for him and be a sponsor in that way. Um, Very well spoken. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't be predatory. Lost Village is more about uh, unifying than dividing, and and I, I think that, and I hate to say this, everybody, but due to the lack of the general lack of education in the cannabis community, uh, there's a lot of 
short run incentive people, you know, going for low hanging fruit that are uh, attacking each other, undercutting, slandering each other, stealing from each other. And, and it's really not necessary. You're dealing with an expanding market that's supposed to have hundreds of billions of dollars of growth very, very soon. And you got people like ruining each other over peanuts. But. Yeah, that is so true. <laughs> Smashing grabs, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well, you actually served in the Army. Did any of that uh, lead you to your destination today? Did that have a big influence on how you got here? Uh, yeah, the Republicans suck, and they sequestered <laughs> wow. my um, Talk to my school funding. After Tell us I, how you yeah, really I, feel. I went in and did wet work for them, and uh, and that's pretty low. But yeah, I had to start growing weed to pay for my schooling when I was doing a double bachelor's because um, they sequestered away the money, and uh, and it's, what am I going to drop out of school? Or am I going to grow some weed? And so I grew, I grew some weed. Bang. And then, you know, and then I, I quickly realized that it was like super illegal to sell weed to clubs without a corporation. As soon as I went to pay taxes, it was like four months of, right. you know, so I sold like one harvest and then realized I couldn't pay taxes with the CPA and, and you know, filed for a Doc Tasty's business license. And, uh, so Doc Tasty was born. Right, it was Dr. Tasty's. And like we came out with Wicked Sticks and Sky High Caps, Get Right Caps, Good good mood which i was putting uh like vitamin stuff in there like you know the sky high caps have a everything like a rock star energy drink has in it but no sugar no salt 30 30 milligrams of thc sweet we currently don't make thc products we're waiting for legalization but we make smart uh, smart we make all our stuff in cbd well shout out to the military man we, you, know, you can't go wrong with that we love we love our military you know appreciate you uh Cool. You know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right. That's a real shout out. That's yeah, what's right. up. Yeah. <laughs> well, stick around. We're going to bring in uh, Remy Guapo from the city of hey. Terps now. Hey, what up, Guapo? Guapo. Terpy Guapo. <laughs> Terpy Guapo. Yeah, that's All what right. Terps Lutz says. Shout out to Terps Lutz, Jasper Gillespie, man. Yeah. Nice. So tell us how you got into the uh, industry, Remy. Uh, it's been a love uh, since day one, man. I looked at the plant. Looked at the leaf and I was just like, "Yep, this is this is this is it." Yeah. And then, fortunate for me, I, I moved from uh, Reno, Nevada, to California when I was like five years old, and then uh, you know I got introduced to the plant and actually started growing my own plant by the time I was like ten years old. Wow. Uh, so you were in Sacramento, California. I was in Sacramento, California. Hey, not yeah. exactly the best place to grow marijuana. Hey, the best <laughs> weed comes out of Sacramento. Okay, all right. Yeah. You know, Santa Cruz, right. bro. Yeah, well, you, you know, can't fade us. We, Here's we, the hey, debate. Here hey, it goes. Cali. Here we go. Cali hey, we got to get church for that. Bring Let's just say over. California. Let's just say the best weed comes from California. Right. Period. <laughs> yeah, we can agree on that. <laughs> that. We could all agree, agree on that, right? right? Man, you mean Santa Cruz, California. Whatever, you know, just California in general. So, So, you started a company about... right? Five years ago, what's the name of that company? Uh, Wax Kings of California. Um, I was into the concentrate game pretty early before everybody even knew what shatter or wax or butter was. Um, I mean, I remember showing people, I'm not going to say names, but people that have exclusive strains and showing them their, their own product into concentrate. And they're like, what's this, crack? I'm like, no, this is butter, <laughs> you know? And then um, I got really good um, vending to all the clubs. I was doing a lot of extractions for a lot of different people in there and putting their stickers on it. And uh, I had a son and I decided to back out of it and uh, follow my dreams, which is kind of be a, a spokesperson for the marijuana industry in Sacramento, California and in uh, California, period. Right. Um, my birthday came along and I decided to do a cannabis cup. Um, I'm a part of the Terp Tasters. What we do is we're an advocate, uh, advocate group that tests different... Um, concentrates, flowers, products in the industry, and we let them know if it's good or it needs a burn notice because um, definitely people shouldn't be doing any poison. And we're all about What's this. a burn notice? Burn notice is uh, we found, you know, some something that we didn't like, whether it be like the look, the texture, the overall product, maybe it still had residuals in it. Wow. And, you know, being a connoisseur, you can kind of tell things off back. I, I can get strains in front of me with the blindfold, and I can be like, oh, that's cookies. This is train wreck. You right. Know, just you, could, from, you could identify them just by scent or just yeah. by looking at them different, you know. Which is called terpenes, and terpene profiles are in everything that you smell, everything that you taste. Um, I mean, it's in your colognes, it's in your flowers, everything that has a taste. Now, you guys actually have If that. you're that highly sensitive, what cologne is Blue wearing right now? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not into that. that part <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think I want to get that close. I didn't even know I was wearing glow. <laughs> what are you smelling, glow? <laughs> right. Go so, ahead. So you said something about uh, you, you, you guys had a, a competition or, or like a te- taste testing or something like that? Yeah, we did that. And then I was just like, well, well, let's take it to the next level. Let's do a cup. Everyone says they have the best stuff around. They're talking stuff about, oh, I can't afford to do hard times. I can't afford to do chalice. Because, I mean, we got a Turn lot of cup. Yeah, cups. You know, it's like ten thousand dollars a booth. So I'm like, look, I'm gonna make something affordable, and or more. Uh, huh? High times gets to be more. Yeah. Yeah, like like I like think San Bernardino, like a couple years ago, when I did the booking for the uh, or not a couple couple months ago, and I did the booking for the Davenport booth, it was like twenty something, twenty two thousand for the air conditioned one. Right. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, so pretty much I just try to do where anyone can compete. Because, I mean, we got growers out there that are just scared to even go out there because of the numbers. They're just like, I only do small grows, but I grow the best weed. So I give everybody opportunity. And um, I'm one of those guys, like, I want everybody to shine. So I brought everybody out there. We've got uh, our winners actually yeah. with me right now. Show Let's us check out the winners. Yeah. Let's We've talk got about a them. Big Daddy Edibles right here, which one with the Big free ups. crispy yum. Check that out. Nice. And uh, we got it all tested by CB Labs. Thank you, CB Labs, for giving us all our results. We've got this flower right here you can check out. This is what actually won first place right there. It's the World Cookies from Bud Brothers. Go get your smoothies from them. Uh, They're actually made with this medicated honey from Banana Butter right here. Nice. Yeah, check that out. The banana butter, that yeah. just looks good, huh? Right, and then um, <laughs> we've got our concentrate winner in here, uh, which is the Gorilla Glue number four. Okay. The spoiled <laughs> live resin. This uh, didn't have the highest terpene count, but it won. What did have the highest terpene count was RSJ's edibles, uh-huh. or hardcore edibles, which they do concentrates and edibles. And, they, See, they, and they, we know it's not rigged because your product didn't win. <laughs> I, know, I know, I didn't, an, I didn't oh, okay. answer and I retired. Hey, okay. Yeah, he yeah. said I retired. Huh? I retired, man. You yeah. would have won had you entered, I'm sure. Maybe. Nice. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust a competition that allows people to enter that are running. And, <laughs> I would say, hey, you're running it. You can't <laughs> enter it. So, so, yeah. Him. That's a pretty uh, astute observation over there, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'll remember that. Uh, the glue and blue contest. We can enter our own product. Can I look, can I look at your wax? Shockingly, hey, it won. We hold on the show. First place, second place. I, and then, I think you said something about you guys wanted like a bus or something. We got 710 limos. That's also something I'm a part oh, of. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 710 limos. Um, it's your first medical Davin um, facility. Well, what a great so, idea. Yeah, transportation service. Um, if you want to go out and have a business meeting and you guys all want to medicate Dav, we don't do flowers in there, people. Not yet. We're trying to do that. But we do vape. Um, we got edibles. We have the syrup provided from Hashtag right here. Where are you guys, where are you guys based out of? Is the limo company? Sacramento, California. Nice, nice. Yeah. And, and, then, and so you're saying we could sticker up one of your, your limos? <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing you? Yeah, we can, we can definitely hey! get room for the sponsorship. For sure. yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we oh, can stickers. I jumped on that one like, hey, no. do, you want, do you want stickers on your limo? No, you want, you want to be I'm nice playing. I'm, be, I'm giving you a hard time. I want my face on my limo. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> for sure, for sure. But so, yeah. You said you had a troubled youth growing up, and you said that uh, marijuana was kind of your ticket away from that. How did that work out for you? Well, it's like one of those things, you know, when you're young, you kind of experiment, and your friends experiment around you, and I wasn't really too much an experiment, and I was just more into experimenting with weed. They were experimenting with everything else, and, um, you know, they ended up either dead or in jail or, you know, overdosing or something, and it's just like, I'm 29 and I still got all my teeth. <laughs> you know? And I mean, it's, it saved my life for a lot of different reasons. I mean, I I got shot, uh, helped heal me up from Achilles. Shout out to Achilles with your fiber, with their fiber blast. Tim and Tina. Tim and Tina. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've had different uses for it, so it's benefited me in different ways. It's kept me out of trouble. I mean, I got to be around my babies all day long, so for me to go out to the streets and mess that up. Yeah, you know it's a, it's actually a beautiful story. I mean, I, I mean, someone like yourself going through some tough times and then realizing that cannabis could could help you kind of guide into the right direction and turn it into business, man. I mean, you know, that's something that I, I definitely can can relate to and say, you know, that's awesome, man. So big ups for that. You know, hey, I mean? thank you. Keep, I appreciate keep rocking it. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Push push it to the top. You know, don't. Uh, you know, don't don't stop. Take it to the next level, man. I mean, you know, everybody everybody has a story. You know, so yeah. 
I, I definitely didn't get there by myself, though. I mean, I had a team. Um, I mean, I had people that believed in me and seen what I was doing. And so shout out to everybody that's helped me out with this. Uh, 710 Limos, Terp Slut, uh, Peter, we just joined up. We're doing the Lost Village thing. He's letting yep. me do the City of Terps. Come the, join the village. Come cool. join the July 2nd, man. Don't miss out. Purplepass.com slash OTC. Yep. That's right. So go check that out. So you guys have an event, you say, coming up right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the date on that again? We have one. Uh, we have the Black Sheep Club. It on just, the first. Yeah. July Friday. 1st. And on, it would, it, which is here in, it's just Hollywood, right? Yes. Sunset, Sunset. right? Sunset. State yeah. Social House. At the State Social House. Yeah. And then at, at Alina in West Oakland. Okay. In Northern California. Right. We have uh, the Oaktown Classic, and that'll be happening monthly. Uh, the Black Sheep Club currently happens twice a month, nice. and the Oaktown Classic will be happening once a month. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And tell us, what's the uh, NorCal Social Club? So the NorCal Social Club um, pretty much was a thing that was created by my, fr- my boy Frank. Um, it was something to have people to come medicate and network and also have some food, watch the games, you know, socialize yeah just get out the house you know and it was a, it was pretty cool but you know in the industry you get a lot of haters and so he couldn't risk his life you know jeopardizing having a facilitating a spot when someone was going to call the police on it and end it so it was successful it was beautiful we're actually looking for a new location right now relocating it um and that's and you know it's going to be a big thing here in like three four months to so look out for it um, the other things you guys got to look out for is Orbits. Weed All-Star throws all the events, all the secret sessions, pop-up events out there in Sacramento. And um, Doja Loke does, too, out there in Central Cal. And that's Let's why throw I, a shout-out to Gina, too, man. No, no, I'm throwing her out there, yeah. All right. Yeah, you know. And she I doesn't got, really deserve it, but yeah, she I got, gets one. Yeah, I got, I got Doja Loke. And, you know, Gina, shout-out to you, even though you don't say what's up. We got love. <laughs> we got love for you, Gina. What up, Gina? But see you too, man. Come check it out. 710 Limos. <laughs> well, that's, there boss lady, that's Boss Lady Edibles, by the way. You should check out her events. They're a lot, hey, of, they're a lot of good medicine. Hold, hold on there, man. We're going to run into a break real here quick, and then we'll come lady back and you can edibles. tell us all about Gina and Lady Edibles and everything right. else you want to promote. <laughs> right, after this, right after this break, Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Cannabis Talk 101. Glue, we have a famous section of our show right now which we is do. the we have the trivia trivia moment. <laughs> but before we do the trivia moment we got the cartoon cowboys gonna bring us oh, in. oh nice make some noise boys his bed Well they can call it Stormy Monday But Tuesday is just his bed Wednesday is worse And Thursday he's also sad Saturday, will I go out to play? Well, the eagle flies on Friday. Saturday, yeah, I go out to play. Sunday, I go to church. That's when I get down on my knees and I pray.
That's when I get down on my knees And I pray Cartoon Cowboys, yeah! You guys are impressive. <laughs> Mike dangerously up there, tearing it up. All right, we're going to play a little trivia now, Blue. Are you going to keep score for these gentlemen? Yeah, All I right. will. That's so, it. again, this uh, is going to be a donation to the Santa Ana Food Bank of $100 in the name of our lucky winner today. So today I'm going to name, uh, I'm going to actually give you some lyrics to a marijuana-type song. I'm going to ask you to give me the name of the song and the artist's name. So we'll start off with the easy question. Who wants the easy one? Me. Oh, man, there it is. <laughs> Let's go. JP, Cali Smooth. Boom. Cali Smooth. start you off with the easiest one of the whole day because it's probably the best stoner song of all time. For 100 points. There you go. So the lyric here is... I was going to clean my room until I got high. <laughs> until I got high. I got until it. I got high. I was going to get up and find the broom, but then I got high. My room is still messed up, and I know why. Because I got high. Because, because I, I got, got high. high. Because, because I got high. high. <laughs> so I need the name of the song, which I think is pretty obvious at this point, and the artist who sang it. Well, sir, I've been thinking quite <laughs> intensely about your question, and it's been quite mind-boggling, but I think I got the answer. All right, give it to us. Is it Afro Man because yeah. I got high? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! For 100 points, Cali Smooth is in the lead. We in the game. We in the right. game. Let's All right, go. Remy, I'm going to give right. you a interesting one. This one's a little tougher now. This one is let's get to the point. Let's roll another joint. I'm just going to go with Willie Nelson for that one. Oh, well, it is a white guy. It's Tom Petty. <laughs> Damn. You don't know how it feels. Apparently, you don't know who Do, sings does that Does anyone song here know that song? Did you know that? There's some old the people out there. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about you? I had no clue, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Sorry, Tom Petty. It didn't All sound right. very boom bap to me. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Well, I'll give you one here, Peter. This one hopefully is a little easier. I'm going to make it a little less challenging. So I will give you the artist. The artists on this song are Wiz Khalifa, Snoop Dogg, and Bruno Mars. The lyric is, roll joints bigger than King Kong's fingers and smoke them down until they're stingers. Nah. See, this will be hard for Pete. See? Oh, man. Easy to us is hard. Yeah. Right? That's why I gave it to him. Come on. You should have got think the Tom I did Petty purpose. joint. We should have got him on that Tom know, Petty right? joint. Oh, where's, the, where's, the, where's the 1990s hip hop question? Oh, oh, no, no. no. All right. You I'm know so what? I'll curious tell you what. to know your answer, Pete. Because, he, because he's part of the village down there, if you want to pass it over to Smooth, I'll let uh, him. Is that like, like dial in a. Yeah, dial in a friend. Maybe yeah. he can give you a, yeah. a lifeline. <laughs> Call him Kelly Smooth. <laughs> you got the answer? I believe it's keep one roll, correct? It is young, <laughs> wild, and oh, free. Oh, yeah. oh, Why don't you get oh, free? Oh, <laughs> Cali still gets to keep his other point, though. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. taking away <laughs> from him, man. He might only be the only one with points at the end of this. Let's, let's get that charity money. <laughs> All right. Let's get that. That's good. That's that's good. I got y'all, kids. Yeah, that's it. Since Peter knew the uh, Tom Petty one, I'm going to stick with him. I'm going to give him a Bob Dylan song. And if he doesn't get this right, we're just kicking him off, okay? <laughs> the lyric to this Bob Dylan classic is, I would not right, feel so all alone if everybody must get stoned. Mm. 
uh, Rainy Day Women. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's back in the yeah, game. Yeah. So What's up? I'm old. The village is <laughs> in the lead. <laughs> he says something from the 90s. Right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's like the. Yeah. Hey, we, we kept it real in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or real. not, guys, there was stoner music back then, too. Yeah. Yes. I'm very familiar with the hippie era. That's the real OG. <laughs> he said the hippie era. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, right? <laughs> that was right. <laughs> yeah, I was hippies too. Man. Yeah, there you go. We still are. We still alive. <laughs> All right, we'll go to you over here, young man, at the end, since you seem to be uh, not a fan of the old stuff. We'll Let's give you it. a tough, challenging, old school question, and I'll even give you the name of the band. Okay, Black Sabbath. My life is free now. My life is clear. I love you, sweet leaf, though you can't hear. And this is truly a classic. And I'll give you one last hint. The name of the song, I actually just gave to you. Okay. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an alley-oop to Pete. Oh, Pete. <laughs> you going to help him out? Give him a little... Yeah, sweet leaf. There yeah. it is. Sweet <laughs> leaf. <laughs> Right. Like give the it. hash machines and grinders. So, so well, can I give him both 50? Points. Yeah, that's, that's smooth, smooth points right yeah. there. We ain't going to take your points. He that was my it. alley -oop. I came yeah. around the back that's with the that. assist right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, Aloha Mike is here to help you out on this one, Peter. So uh -oh. if Aloha Mike wants to step up to the uh, the background here, Aloha Mike, you over there? Oh, you're is, you're stuck. Is that, okay. Is that my boy Mike from Speakeasy? Yeah, yeah he is. That's he right. might it's have on the to. Base over there. He's got yeah. them dope pens. Too. That's right. Yeah. And he has. <laughs> and I guarantee you, need these you, pens. They are amazing. There you go. He has Very the amazing. answer to this question. If you can't get it now, this one, I'll tell you the name of the band. It's Sublime. <laughs> hey, that's my favorite band. <laughs> All right. The lyric is: I smoke two joints, a dime a piece, and two the time before. I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints, and then I smoke. Two more. Boom, boom, boom. Aloha, Mike. You gonna help him out here? Give him a shout it out for him. There it is, <laughs> Remy. Oh, you gotta say it. Huh? That was Remy. That was for me. Oh, that was for me. I thought it was for Mike. Oh, this got confusing real quick. On. Wait a second. Uh, we didn't smoke uh, at the break, did we? I think Remy. <laughs> Remy, were you outside? I don't remember being red no, on. I still this. got the blue. Oh, okay. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Remy over here is sipping. I'm sipping. I'm trying to keep it. All right. All right. All right, Remy. This one is for you. Thank you for letting me know. Now this is Peter Tosh. And I'm sure you're going to get this one right. Singers smoke it, and players of instruments, too. Legalize it. Yeah, yeah, that's the best thing you can do. Give you a hint. I don't know. Wait, Hold wait, it. wait. Give you a hint. Ready? What's the hint? He said it in. Yeah, it's in the lyric. In the lyrics. Say, say it again. Let Singers it again. smoke it, and players of instruments, too. Legalize it. Yeah, yeah, that's the best First thing four you syllables. can do. <laughs> I, 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 I think. You going to help him out? I don't know, man. I'm lost right now. What? Oh, Peter Tosh, <laughs> legalize, like legalize, legalize it. Legalize it. Legalize yeah. it. Oh, that was way too easy. Yeah, I was like, I <laughs> even tapped you under the, the table. <laughs> that's actually like, that's what I was going right to guess. There. I think <laughs> Bunny Whaler just rolled in his grave. Yeah, man. Legalize it. That's right. How are you going to do him like that? <laughs> I need okay, to, so what do we got need to medicate. <laughs> Right, Fair we're enough. down to like I think it's just basically a tie between Peter and JP Kelly Smooth. We got to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in. <laughs> here's how we're gonna do it. We're almost out of time, so you guys are gonna have to have a tiebreaker on this last okay. one. Okay? okay, I'm actually gonna give you the name of the artist, Kid Cuddy. Cuddy. And I love him because he's from Cleveland. Let's go. Here we go. Pre, pre, pretty green bud, all in my blunt. Oh, I need it. Ooh, challenging, challenging, challenging. But I'm going to give you one hint about the name of this song. It's the word we've been talking about all day. Cannabis. Marijuana. Oh. There it is. We got a winner. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah. We appreciate all of you. Remy, Thank you. JP, Kelly, so Smooth. You guys are going to give somebody, right? right. That's yes. right. Yes. Your name? Who, who Santa Ana Food Bank. Yes. Santa Ana Food Bank. From you just gave them all yeah. $100. Ooh, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> hey, guys, we want to thank you all for coming we out. need to write that off. <laughs> to Cannabis. Thank you guys all for coming out to Cannabis Talk 101. We'll see you all next week. My name is Blue, and this is a glue. We'll see you guys back. Smoke!